Hello, this is Brian from Workspace Admins here. Uh, we just had a thousand subscriber to, subscriber to our YouTube channel, so thank you uh, for watching. Uh, we've been all busy uh, this year, so we haven't had the chance to produce any new videos. Uh, but as a thank you, I'm uh, recording this video at about 5.30 o'clock in the morning, uh, my time. So today we'll take a quick look at the uh, Google Marketing Platform. So similar to Google Cloud Platform, uh, the marketing platform allows a centralized administration for uh, some of the Google Marketing products, such as uh, Google Analytics, Ads, Tag Manager, etc. So it also has a concept of organization. Uh, so I'll just click on administration here at the top left corner. So I have an organization uh, created called Brian Kim, which includes my personal Google Analytics and uh, Tag Manager uh, properties. So I'll just click on it. So what you can do here is you can assign other org admins. So they will have the uh, highest privilege when it comes to uh, Google Marketing Platform. So they can associate uh, other uh, accounts or products and uh, administer their users as well. And it has a concept of user policies. So you can allow other any user and users on specific domains or users with specific email addresses, or you can also ban uh, some users as well. And you also, there's also a concept of uh, groups as well. So this is not the same as uh, groups in uh, Google Admin Console or Google Cloud Platform. Uh, so this is a group exclusively within uh, Google Marketing Platform. So you can use these groups to uh, uh, assign to different uh, views or properties. And I will now go and try to add myself to uh, one of these uh, properties here. So I'll just go to user list here and I'll find my uh, user here and I'll add and let's just select some products. So I'll add analytics, I'll send to Brian's blogs and it's showing me an error message here. I'll just go give myself a viewer access. So I'll just close it. So now as this user, I go to analytics.google.com. And you can see that now this user has access to uh, the viewer role that I just assigned. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this user. Now refresh, and that access is now gone. So I'm going to do something interesting that I discovered recently. So I'm going to go ahead and update my uh, directory settings here. So on, in the context sharing menu, you can choose to show all email addresses, or on, uh, you can also choose to only show secondary email addresses. So I'll do that here. And I'll add again, enter the email and add. So as you can see, the email address changed to hjkimbryan at gmail.com. So that's a handle that I use uh, on Slack, on Reddit, and other places. So this is the bug that I've identified uh, with Google. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do the same thing here. Analytics, add, brands, blogs. Done, and permissions, I will give myself a viewer role, save, and I will save, and it's not letting me do that, but I'll do an editor role and try to save it. Okay, interesting. Don't save. And let's try that with Tag Manager. Nope, I don't have that. Let's give them, okay. Interesting. Let's try it again. Analytics, add, 
Price box done. Zero save. There you go. So if I go to analytics google.com as you can see uh, my user who should have access doesn't and if I add go to analytics.google.com this user now has access so I'll just remove my access again just to make sure it's gone. And if I add the correct email address, the error message here is incorrect. One of the email addresses entered is an alternate email address of a Google account, which it isn't. Alternate email address has been changed to their Google account's primary email address, which it isn't. So. I have filed a bug report with Google and hopefully uh, this will bring uh, some attention to it. Thanks.